Prince Anley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle working love. I want to talk to you today about having a positive vision of yourself, of your ministry, and of your future. No, I'm not talking about New Age type meditation. I'm talking about seeing yourself according to the Word of God and by the Word of God. For those of you that are IT or computer savvy, you know that our mind takes in over 4 million bytes a second. We are visually oriented. My friend, you will never rise any higher than the vision you have of yourself. In the Breed Hadashah, the Jewish New Covenant or New Testament, we read in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 22, or Matthew 6, 22, where Yeshua said, The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? When Yeshua talked about the lamp of the body, the eye being good, in the original, the word means clear or healthy. And when he talked about the eye being bad, the original means evil or unhealthy. So my friend, this scripture means much more than just an evil eye or, or people being able to actually comprehend or see the light of God through your eyes. But your eye can either bring health or dishealth. You will never rise any higher than the vision you have of yourself. In the negative, you've already reached your limits by what you've seen or what you've believed upon, what you have actually perceived through your own eye and actually through your mind's eye. We produce what we continually keep in front of us. So you want to have an image of success and victory. And why not? Because you're the son or daughter of God, if you know Yeshua. If the Messiah lives in you, you have the power of the creator of the universe living inside you. The Ruach Elohim, the Spirit of God, is resident within every fiber of your being. You know, we must first conceive before we give birth. But that's not only true in the natural, that's true in the spiritual. You need to see to conceive in your spirit through your mind's eye, through the gate of the heart belief. And then you will give birth. You will bring forth according to what you have believed and seen in your mind's eye. Keep things in front of you, my friend, that you want to come to pass. It might be writing your goals where you can see them. Your imagination is a canvas. It might be through beautiful paintings. It might be through your furniture. It might be thoughts that you've conceived in your mind, that you've dreamed of, plans and great goals that you want God to bring forth to pass through you, to bless you and bless the world through you. Every nation, tribe, tongue, dialect, and family, every people group of the earth and especially to the Jew first, as well as the Gentile nations. Yes, your imagination is a canvas. It's your paintbrush of hope, of love, and success. Abraham saw the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore as innumerable, and God promised him that his seed line would be innumerable. That's before he even had a child, when his wife was barren. Stop seeing yourself the way you are. Start seeing yourself the way you will be. You will produce what's in front of you. You know, faith works in the negative as well as the positive. Break the curse. Change the vision inside you. See yourself happy and healthy, enjoying life, successful, productive, and prosperous. Stand before the mirror and speak to yourself. See it in your heart first. Sometimes I stand in the mirror and I say, I love you, Prince Handley, because Jesus loves you. In the Tanakh, we read where God spoke to the prophet Jeremiah, and he said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Face your difficulties with victory in mind, my friend. Look at obstacles as opportunities. Use your faith. Paint a new picture. In the Torah, in Genesis chapter 13, verses 14 to 15, the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I will give it to you and to your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. My friend, look up. For all the land you can see, God says I will give it to you. 
See it in your heart. See it in your mind's eye. And believe in faith. Mashiach Yeshua taught us, What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. When the devil comes sometime to tell you, You know what you prayed for this morning and believed in faith? That is too big. That'll never happen. You just want to turn to the devil and say, Devil, thanks for reminding me that I received that in faith. Because Jesus taught me that what things soever I receive in faith, I shall receive them. It's the receiving that's important. But even before that, you must see it to receive it. See it, my friend. Believe it in your heart. Receive it. And God says the miracles of God will invade you and invade the earth through you. Everything you see, I will give it to you. Start expecting good things in your life, my friend. Control your thought life. Be careful what you put in front of your eyes and in your mind and let come into your ears and your heart, your spirit. God created you a can-do person. The enemy has tried to put a virus in your program. Reprogram your inner being. You are a victor, not a victim. God tells you no good thing I will hold from them that walk uprightly. Have you been a prisoner of your past? My friend, God is looking for prisoners of hope. In the Tanakh, in the book of Zechariah, we read in chapter 9, verse 12, Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today I will declare that I will restore double to you. God is not limited by your past, my friend. Have hope, have faith, and you'll have victory. Start rising higher, my friend, right now, through the vision you have of yourself. Know who you are in Mashiach Yeshua, and know what you have in Mashiach Yeshua. And begin to launch out in faith through the vision that God Almighty has placed in your heart. You can do more than you can do. Just as Elijah, Eliyahu, ran faster than King Ahab, probably about 18 kilometers or so. And you know King Ahab had the fastest horses in the land, yet Elijah, Eliyahu, outran him. My friend, it's time to move. It's time to move. It's time for you to believe we're in the last days of planet Earth. See the rain clouds coming, the great latter rain coming upon the earth. See yourself positioned in the perfect center of God's will. Bind yourself to the perfect center of God's will and let the power of God invade you. Begin to put in front of your eyes the things that you want God Almighty to do through you and don't be afraid to put in front of your mind and in your eyes the things you would like to have from God because he's a good father. If you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more does your Heavenly Father know how to give good gifts to you, my friend, especially the gift of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit? My friend, this has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba Adonai.